Hi, I'm Jeff Cogswell. Today, let's take a look at using OpenMP with what are called sections. Sections are basically blocks of code that you create that run in parallel with each other. And that's all it really is. Uh, but getting, to, get, getting it to work right can be a little tricky. So I've got some code here. And you can see I've got several loops here. And what I'm going to do is have each of these loops run in parallel. Now, this code isn't actually production code, and I'm doing some things in here that you really wouldn't want to do. I've, I've got some uh, races going on here and things like that. But the main point here is to show you how I can divide this code up to, to have it run across, ultimately, multiple cores. Now, up here, I do a pragma, OMP, parallel sections, and in this case, I'm going to specify the number of threads I've got. I've got seven sections here, and each of each of these sections starts with pragma OMP section. Now, the outer block uh, with sections plural, I have an open brace, and down at the bottom, I've got a closing brace. And each section, I have, a, again, an open brace and closing brace. And if you've only got one statement, you probably don't really need to have the the, the open and closing braces on it, but it helps keep your code clean. And then inside each of those, I've got a for loop. And really, uh, these for loops, I've, I'm multiplying it by 20, and I'm running them over and over and over. And each loop is trying to write to the same memory. So again, that's that's not production quality code. You wouldn't do that. But my main goal is I want to show you how these sections will split apart into multiple cores. And so let's go ahead and build this. And then it looks like it's already up to date. And we'll go ahead and start without debugging. Now I'm going to start this, and then I'm going to switch to my my uh, uh, task manager here. And you'll see the multiple cores running. So let's start it. Now I'm going to switch over here. And you can see each of these at the top, uh, the processors are indeed spinning. And these are separate threads. This machine has, what, 16 of these going? Uh, eight cores, each with two threads going. Now you notice something that we've got blocks of two. And each block of two, you're only going to see one thread going. And that's because those blocks of two are actually a, a, a single core. And those single cores have two threads on them. And with parallel programming, if you're going to be running multiple threads across cores, you want to first do individual cores. And then once you need more threads, then you can start in on the second threads within each core. And so that's what it did here. It was alternating because it was it was targeting across the actual cores. Uh, in Task Manager, they look like uh, separate cores, but really they're not. Um, we've got eight cores here, each with two separate hyperthreads. And that's all there is to it. Uh, you have to make sure you program you set up your project to use OpenMP and then I allocated my arrays and set the number of threads and let it go and it worked. And that's it.